So it seems that the next thing we need to do is add the actual time element to our um, results over here. So uh, let's get to it. Now looking at what I have already, I realize that I need to... Well, the next thing I had right after that um, that link to the username and the, their link to what they're sharing, I need to actually put a, an H6 to terminate that H6. So I could add that right after the A over here and there we have it. So now I've terminated my H6 and my HTML should be good. Okay. Um, but I need to add that whole time business. So I'll add a plus and um, let me just grab this static yeah let me grab all of this static content and uh, let me not get ahead of myself let me just pull the time here we go the static time that I have from my example so single quote that HTML so let's look at exactly what I need to do here um, which is what is going to remain static well I have the time element and the class I defined for it that's going to stay then I have the date time uh, attribute and in here okay so I have to put that timestamp in there and that timestamp is going to come from the created time uh, property in there so let me I'll put a space in between all the stuff in there and then of course I got to put single quotes around all that static HTML and I'll add a plus then a plus and now I have to replace this time that I have with um, the time from the other thing from the data source so I'm gonna go this dot and what am I looking for let me go up to my top result created time okay it's not nested inside of anything so it's just gonna be this dot created time okay that's pretty easy and then uh, it seems like oh I also want that displayed in um, in the results I don't just need it I don't want it just to be a property of class I want it to show it so there's a visual reference to it um, so I'm gonna take out all this other business so let me put a single quote well here's what I'm putting a single quote on I have days hours minutes ago and that's supposed to represent this time that I'm pulling from there and then I have a middle dot but that's going to be something static because I want to put that middle dot in myself so um, what I'll do is now put a single quote here between the days hours minutes ago and one after right there and of course I put a plus and a plus and now I need to get well essentially I'm looking for this dot created dot uh, underscore time rather so let's see what this looks like okay and and there you have it um, so clearly uh, these dates over here aren't the best looking ones um, but they are uh, important in the fact that they're computer readable dates like micro micro data essentially and um, if they were you know a lot of future facing dates you could actually as the HTML5 uh, spec matures you can be able to actually be able to put in dates and people will click on them and uh, they'll add them to their calendar and all that good stuff and it's more than likely going to be formatted in this way uh, not something pretty like January 1st 2005 right now obviously you couldn't do that anyway but but you get what I'm saying uh, so it's important that when we receive a date we get it in a format like this this is called um, what is it called ISO 8601 and it's a standard format for presenting dates okay um, but what we want to do is actually take that ISO format a date and make it something well you know pretty and if you google something like pretty date Facebook and you'll see that people have handled this before and uh, with a little bit of JavaScript a little extra JavaScript we could get the same thing there's a lot of different solutions out there from pretty dates to another pretty date and all, all sorts of stuff but uh, the point is I'm not gonna worry about it right now that's gonna be kind of a down the road kind of thing I'm gonna do when I'm putting everything together but we have options for this stuff because once we get it into our script then we could treat it as you know once we get this data into our page rather uh, we could treat it 
like anything else. We could apply other JavaScript on it, CSS, all that good stuff.